Hello, Fashion Palace Hotel Reception. How may I help you? When am I going to get my hot towels? <laughs> Sir, how many times do you have to call? I keep telling you. You'll get your towels in the next five minutes. Please quit calling every half hour. That's the problem. It's been a half hour. Where are my towels? Darling, you're not going to get what you want with that attitude. Please have a nice day. And remember, stay fancy. Bye-bye now. Later that day. Hello, Fashion Palace Hotel. How may I... Oh, Dolores, darling, how are you? Yes, I'm available this evening. What? Oh, darling, another party at Versailles. Didn't you know hear what I told you last time? Me and you, Barry, had a horrible talk. Men? What men? New men? How many? Oh, darling, I'm there. I'll call at seven. See you at Versailles, darling, and stay fancy. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. Bye-bye. Later that same evening. I never thought I'd be back here, at least after what happened at awful dinner party. But here I was, back in the golden glittery palace, observing the sights, when all of a sudden, someone caught my eye, or I caught his. <laughs> he was old or handsome, though. I was riveting. I couldn't help but draw a little smile on my face. Oh, he just couldn't stop staring at me. And I found myself thinking things that I cannot discuss here because I would be demonetized if I did so. <laughs> then I saw Count Ferguson. He made eyes at me. I was a little taken aback, and then he started approaching me. He made a come on, and I could only think of one thing. President, but I said it. Darling, I'm not going to be no sloppy seconds. You're with that Antoinette girl. Be off with you and stay fancy. <laughs> he was stunned by my rejection. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe and stay fancy. <laughs>